Good morning. <clears throat> Ooh. Mm. I've been up since about 4.30 just because I think at this point getting up so early for work, my body just will not let me sleep longer. I wanted to because today I'm going up to Hollywood to go to a friend of mine's baby shower, but the baby was born a little bit premature, so we're just celebrating the baby's arrival. And obviously, since I'm headed in that direction, I'm going to go to Disneyland. I really need to get like one of those little car setups for when I'm filming and driving. Um, I'm finally on my way up north. It's just been a very slow morning. Actually, it's been a very productive morning because I finished editing a video and was having trouble uploading, which has been an issue lately. I just really need to update my equipment. But it's uploading now. Hopefully I cleared whatever little bugs were happening. I, I pushed back leaving as far as I could or as long as I could. So I'm finally getting on the road. And I'm just, it's just gonna be a little dip into Disneyland before heading up to Hollywood. But that's okay because I'm really excited to see my friend and celebrate her baby. That's gonna be really fun. And I can always hit Disneyland on the way back. So you never know, you know anything can happen. I don't know the future. That feels like it was the longest ride in history, all that drive. But I'm finally here. I have such little time to do what I came here to do. stores on Main Street. I'm trying not to get distracted, but I'm looking for something that would be suitable for baby. Oh, I must not get distracted. Oh my gosh. could have sworn once upon a time they had hella baby stuff in this area they did and now it's all Avengers it's all Star Wars which is fine it's just fine oh my god that was 100% a bust it turns out that all of the cute baby things that I used to see at Disneyland they no longer even carry and I knew I knew I knew I should have just bought it way back when I someone was gonna get pregnant at some point should have just gotten it to be safe. So now I'm just gonna go to Target, see what was on their registry, and then head up to Hollywood. I don't know why I didn't just come here in the first place. Target has literally never done me wrong. I'm so sorry, Target. I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. And they said that their registry machine is down, so I just have to match it up online and see if I can find a thing in the store. Settled on five minute princess stories and five minute classic stories so that the baby has a well rounded Disney education. This one was on the Target registry. This one was next to the one on the Target registry, so how could I not? I also got these cute little onesies. Oh my gosh, look, I met! <laughs> Finding this place is so impossible. I'm going past every alleyway, every brick building, like, hut. I'm going everywhere. This feels a lot like Resident Evil. Um, in case anything happens to me, I love y'all. Although, how would this video even be uploaded? That doesn't make sense. Oh my God, I thought that was a body. Oh. <laughs> My skirt is so short! 
then, now I think, I think I'm gonna go back to Disneyland. So I just got to Disneyland again, and I'm just a little bit perplexed about an interaction that I just had with one of the cast members down here at the Mickey and Friends parking structure. Um, I came in, and since I was here earlier, she scans my annual pass, and she goes, oh, do you have your parking thing from earlier? And I looked around for it, and I couldn't find it, and she was like, oh, well, if you don't, you have to, if you don't have it, you have to pay the regular parking, which is $25, and I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm not paying that. So I ended up just like saying okay and pulling off somewhere um, off to the like through the exit. They like put a flag thing on your car and you pull off and you like exit. I pulled off to the side and I found the parking thing because it was in the back of my car for whatever reason. It ended up back there. I went back through and for whatever reason ended up back in her line again and. She goes, she scans my annual pass, she has the correct ticket with today's date on it for the parking structure, and then she goes, okay, well, this one says one o'clock, and this says 132, so it's probably someone else's ticket, but I'll let it slide. And I'm like, whose ticket would it be? I literally came back in a matter of minutes, like I found it immediately, it was right there in the back seat of my car. Who did I find? and coerce into giving me their parking ticket. What? So, and I asked her, I was just like, wait, what do you mean? And she was like, what? I said, you said it was probably someone else's ticket. She was like, I didn't say that. And I was like, you literally said that just right now. And she was like, no, I didn't, you're fine. And I was like, well, why did you say that we were going to let something slide? Did she accuse me of getting someone else's parking ticket? Disneyland at nighttime is so dark for some reason, but still super, super magical. Yay, I'm so excited. Yay! I'm getting Space Mountain flashbacks. I was just walking by, I was heading down to Hada Mansion and just kind of peeking to see if I can grab a spot for Fantasmic since I'm never here for it. And the cast member was super nice. She offered me a spot in the seated section and now I'm super close to Fantasmic. I haven't seen it in so long and it's one of my favorite shows so I'm super, super excited. Nothing is more powerful than the imagination. Like 
best Disneyland shows ever, 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 ever created. One of my hands down favorite, even with the changes because they recently updated a lot in the show. So it's really different even from the show that I knew as a kid, but it's the most perfect show ever, so that's okay. I love this show so 